Okay, another beer today from uh, Terrapin Brewing Company out of Athens, Georgia. Uh, we're going to do their Milk Stout. One of their Milk Stouts, I guess. Uh, I don't know if they have any other ones besides this. I don't think they do. This is called a Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout, coming in at 6% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, beer Advocate uh, popular list of popular beers in this style, number 49. So we've done Left Hand, we've done Lancaster. And the one thing that I think about Milk Stouts, uh, they tend to all kind of taste very similar to each other. I haven't had a milk stout yet that's really, really blown me away. Um, yet to have it, not saying it doesn't exist, but just have yet to have a milk stout that has really blown me away. This uh, chocolate milk stout uses cocoa nibs and shells from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, 49th most popular on uh, Beer Advocate. Uh, Terrapin um, always has very, very good uh, label art. Uh, as you can see, there's a Terrapin dressed up as a uh, looks like a uh, looks like a cow. So there you go. Uh, the Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout proudly uses cocoa nibs and shells from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company to give this beer a chocolatey great taste. Exactly what I uh, basically said earlier. That's what the bottle says. Enjoy it till the cows come home. And it also has the website for Olive and Sinclair. That's oliveandsinclair.com if you want to check out the chocolate that is being used in the brewing process of this milk stout. Pour it into a goblet uh, or a chalice, St. Bernard's chalice, and we'll see that very, very dark pour that we usually get from uh, the milk stouts. Not quite the motor oil pour, well, maybe close to the motor oil pour that you get from Russian Imperials or double stouts. And we'll see that kind of chocolatey looking thin head um, in this beer. As you can see, just a very, very dark um, beer with a khaki kind of looking head to it. So, no big surprise there. Now let's get the aroma now of Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout. <sighs> Definitely getting uh, the scent of chocolate, which I'd be a little worried if uh, I did not. Um, almost getting a, a black chocolate stout kind of a uh, smell to this beer. A little bit of coffee thrown in there as well. Almost like a gourmet kind of chocolate smell. This is, this is good quality chocolate, you can kind of tell. Wow, I'm getting uh, just uh, very, very, maybe the, the coffee notes are, are very slight compared to the cocoa notes. I think that's what I'm getting more of is the cocoa in here. Just a very good smelling chocolatey kind of uh, aroma to this beer. I think it's a better smelling beer than Lancaster or Left Hand. Uh, thus far, so uh, let's get the taste now of Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout. Classic, classic milk stout with a, hint, a, a tinge of chocolate, almost just a regular American stoutish kind of uh, taste to it. Maybe a little bit of that uh, uh, extra sweetness you get from the milk stouts compared to the uh, re uh, regular American stouts. And definitely getting that cocoa powdery kind of taste, almost like a powder feeling on the tongue uh, as I taste this. Definitely a younger brother kind of feel of uh, Brooklyn Black Chocolate Stout. Very tasty. Um, the chocolate High quality, as uh, you can tell, um, where it compares to Left Hand uh, and uh, Lancaster, in my opinion, it is a bit better tasting. I don't think it's far and away better tasting, but I think it's a, a bit better tasting than either of those. Um, just, again, not really my style in that it's not a diverse style. I mean, you had one, you, you basically had them all. I've still yet to have a milk stout that has really differentiated itself from the others. So... Uh, with that said, I'm going to give Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout a 7.5 out of 10.